Hi guys, it's Heidi here. I thought that it might be fun for you guys to take a sneak peek at my local greenhouse. Um, at first I thought these might be Christmas cacti, but I think that the leaves were too pointy. So they're just like more of a Thanksgiving cactus or a holiday cactus. On this row, it looks like we have some sage and basil, lots of other herbs. I've always thought these were really pretty, but I'm not really sure what their purpose is. If you guys know, please tell me. And along with the holiday collection here, we have some Nordic pine trees, which are super pretty. Looks like these are priced at $9.29. Oh, excuse me, they're Norfolk Island pines in a four inch pot. I just really like being at this greenhouse. This is one of my favorite sections. Um, they have a section called fairy garden plants, which I think most greenhouses typically do. I sort of buy a lot of plants out of this section because they're only $3.99 and it seems as though the greenhouse actually propagates a lot of plants that are already in the greenhouse right there like you'll see some peperomias, some hoyas, uh, begonias, it looks like an arrowhead plant, lots of ferns. Um, I'm not quite sure what these what or like what this plant is here i don't know if it's a type of peperomia it's kind of a vining plant all of these plants in this section here are 3.99 so pretty good deal again it looks like there's more ferns, I think. Maybe a burgundy arrowhead plant there. Not quite sure of all of these varieties, but very pretty. And I think that might be like a strawberry begonia there on the right side. None of them are really labeled, so I just kind of take a stab at it. Here's the bonsai collection. It's a little small. There's not a whole lot to choose from. 1949 for that little guy. Super cute. Some ponytail palms. And then over here, we have some more foliage type plants. I never really know what all of these are because they're not labeled very clearly. $7.49 for this four inch plant. Here's some croton plants. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. There's 
many different colors. $7.49. And I'm not sure what this little plan is here. It's kind of spindly. More peperomias. There's a Jenny Rainbow Peperomia plant, which I have one in my collection, but it's not looking very well. $7.49. See, like over in the fairy garden section, you could get this for $3.99. I guess it just depends on what size you want. I like the little tiny plants, they're adorable. More peperomia plants. We've got some ripple peperomias. Again, this can be purchased over in the fairy garden section for $3.99 versus, I think, I'm not sure. Th this is a different variety of peperomia because of the color of leaves. Like, obviously it's a ripple, but $6.99 for a four inch versus like $3.99 for like a one and a half inch or something. Gorgeous plants though. Like I bought a little peperomia plant in the fairy garden section and it's already the size of that in like a month and a half. I believe these are the um, platonia, platonium plants, the, the nerve plants, and then we have a very beautiful calathea in the back here. I've been, oh, and this is a begonia of some variety. Now this Calathea, I've had my eye on for a while, but I've just never purchased it because I feel like I don't have room for it at the moment. <laughs> Gorgeous leaves though. I believe it's like $7.49, yeah. I have one Calathea in my collection. It's the Rattlesnake Calathea. It seems to be doing all right. Lots of purple plants. And we have the lipstick plants back here. These have always caught my eye, but I think it's because they're a more succulent type plant. But I've never purchased one. And over here we've got some more foliage plants. Some ivy. And here are the ferns. Lots of ferns. I've been eyeing the crocodile fern, but I'm not really sure that 
it'll survive in my cave. <laughs> Here are the crocodile ferns. Absolutely gorgeous pattern on the leaves. Beautiful color, $7.99. Handful of Staghorn ferns, twelve seventy nine. The texture on these leaves are a velvety texture. Oh, and here's my favorite, the rattlesnake, Calathea. I actually heard mine rattle one morning and I think it was unfolding. <laughs> but it did kind of make like a rattle sound. And we are rubber plants here. I really have a I really have an eye for the, the pink rubber plants. Not so much interested in the all green ones. Some more ponytail palms. Oh, here's our peperomias again. For some reason, they don't keep all of the peperomias in the peperomia section. Not sure why, but it doesn't really matter. You can put them wherever they want. Finally made it to the Hoya section. Nine twenty nine. A lot of people really like these plants, but I haven't seemed to be able to find the beauty in a Hoya plant, so I've never purchased one. No offense to anyone else. Lots of polias, some jade plants. Alabira. And here are some succulents and some desert roses. I just love the way that their little trunks form. All tubular like. <laughs> Lots of different succulents. Most of these aren't labeled. All of these come like in little terracotta planters, like in um, 
like one and a half inch terracotta planters. They're all $3.99. Some little echeverias. I really had my heart set on those little black echeveria plants that stand kind of tall. I'm not sure why. Some of the bigger plants come in little in a little bit larger terracotta planters and those are all $4.99. Doesn't really seem to be anything too special, but I do like these. These little echeverias are a little leggy, I guess. They look more like little palm trees. I'm not sure what this little pretty plant is, but I added it to my collection. We have some painted, painted lady echeverias in there. Lots of sedum. And the Sansevieria collection. Little starfish plant. I really like that guy so much. But they're kind of pricey here. They're $21.99. I'm not sure. I'm sure that it's worth it. I mean he's kind of he's kind of beautiful, really. Some cactus. What are those? Um, like milk something plants I don't I can't remember and they're not labeled but they're pretty some super vitums right the the hen and chick variety and some corn cob cactus. Some devil's backbone. A type of palm. This this guy's pretty interesting. 1949. Here in Iowa, cacti are a little bit on the pricey side um, I sort of choose to buy on the smaller side just so that you don't get up into that higher price bracket here's some ZZ plants apparently these things are really hard to kill they just live forever I don't know, I've never had one, so I can't verify that. Some more Sansevierias, $34.99. For some reason, the Sansevierias here are really expensive. And that's gonna be all for today. See ya.